video we are going to learn how we can use the for next loop so in order to start with let's launch our Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 so go on the start button click on all programs and from here select this Microsoft Visual Basic Studio 6.0 and from here you can locate this Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 Click on it and launch this Microsoft Visual Basic and select the standard EXE file and click on open. Alright, now here we are going to take an example to learn how we can use the for next view. So let's take an example that we want to display number from 1 to 10 on our screen. So in order to display that, we are going to make our form an active window. So to use this active window property for the form, we are going to use the object as a form and the procedure would be the activate. So let's see how we can code our form here. So go on the coding window by double clicking on this form. Or before we do that, let's rename our form. And as we know that the prefix for the form is FRM. Okay, and the name we are going to give it is for next. As we are going to learn about the for next loop, so it would be a standard name for it for our next loop or the appropriate name for it. Alright. Now double click on this form window and here we have our code window now this is the object and here it's the procedure pop down menu we want to use the activate procedure out here so as form has already been selected in the object pop down menu so here we need to select the procedure pop down menu okay so here we will select this activate all right now here we have our private sub form activate in end sub statement now let's look at the syntax for for next loop so the syntax is syntax for the for next loop now here this is the for statement this is the variable counter and which is equivalent to 1 to 10 okay now this means that this for loop is going to repeat itself that is it's going to loop for 10 times now for loop is a very useful loop and we intend to use this loop where we want to have a fixed number of repetitions. Now below the statement of for, we are going to write our executable statement. Now in order to end this for loop, we are using here the next statement. Okay. Now we have also used a counter variable here and it's not necessary to use this counter variable along with the next statement but it's a kind of a good coding practice to use uh, this variable because it's just make clear that which procedure is going to end here we will be more clear with this concept when we are going to discuss about the next step for loop now let's try to execute our example first of all okay so as we want to print the 10 numbers 1 to 10 on the screen so let's use the syntax print and the variable here that is the counter is going to contain the number 1 to 10 as it's going to loop uh, for 10 times that's why let's write here the variable counter now this statement means that it, it's going to print whatever is contained in this variable counter alright now 
Let's try to run this program. Now, here we are getting a compile error that the variable is not defined. It means that we have not defined our variable counter. So we have to declare it. So we are going to declare it using dim counter as as it's going to contain a number that's why we have declared it as an integer okay all right now let's try to run our program once again and let's go to this run button click on it okay now here you can see that it's displaying the number 1 to 10 on the screen all right now this is how we can display the number using the for loop for next loop okay and click on the end button